and he told me that his girlfriend at that time had just died by suicide. I was scared, scared of what he was gonna do, didn't know what I was supposed to do. The only thing that I knew was music. And that might sound weird to some of you, but I know some of you will get it. Some of you know when you're going through something in life and you don't know what to do, you just turn on your favorite song and you listen to your favorite artist and for some reason it makes you feel better. Maybe it's because you relate to the artist through your feelings and then you don't feel so alone in your feelings. You don't feel like you're the only one going through it anymore. And maybe that's why they say music's like medicine. It's not a permanent solution by no means, but at 15 years old, it's all I knew. So I told my friend, come over to the house. We're going to put together a song and then we'll take that song to the schools and we could rap it to the kids. We can let everybody else know that they're also not alone in their feelings. And I'll be honest with you, the reason why I had this idea was because his girlfriend at that time, to me, she looked like the happy girl. That's what I thought she was. I thought she was the happy-go-lucky. She was the cool girl, the tough girl, the class clown. She was the one that would greet you at the door with a smile on her face. I realized that she wore the same fake smile that I wore. The only difference was she wore it so well that nobody noticed. So I immediately thought about everybody else. I'm like, how many other people are coming to school every day, fake smile on their face, pretending to be okay. On the outside, they look like everything's perfect. On the inside, they're a different person. How many people are going unnoticed? So with a sense of urgency, we got together and we put together this song that we called Life Lessons. 